Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to go from an afro to waves. I don't wanna waste any time, so let's just take a look at what we have here. All right, so if you see here, you see my hair is in an afro. For the people who have been to my channel before, you probably know my hair is already trained to have waves, but for the people who are new here, if you're not familiar, this is called the wash and style method. And the reason why it's so great is because it's known for helping people who don't already have their hair trained for waves be able to get waves a lot faster than what we previously knew. Or people who already have waves use this method to make their waves even better. So whether you have an afro, whether you just cut off some dreadlocks, you could have curly hair. This method right here, this is an S tier method. Okay, so now let's move into the steps. And the first one is pretty easy. Actually, all of the steps are pretty easy. I guess maybe not the last one. A lot of people seem to get that one wrong. But the first step, as you see here, is to go ahead and wet your hair. I like to just stick my head under the shower. That's the easy easiest way to do it. If you have a handheld shower head, that could really help out too. But here, I'm just going to stick my head in the shower. You could also do this at a sink too. Grab a cup or a bottle, fill it up with water, and then pour it on your hair. And now that my hair is wet, you can see my afro is starting to get a little curly. And this is important because curls are the secret to waves. If you didn't know, waves are just curls that are stretched out and then laid down on your hair. But I will say this, even if you don't see curls in your afro yet, don't worry, just keep following the process and keep doing the steps. So step number two is to apply shampoo to your hair. I'm gonna be using a shampoo bar from Smooth Styles, but you can use any shampoo you have at home. My hair is immediately starting to lather. I'm gonna scrub this shampoo in, give it a nice scramble, and I'm gonna let you guys sit back and watch. Once you finish scrambling your hair, it's time to detangle. I recommend going to thecubbuddy.com and getting a detangling brush. That way you can get a discount. Just make sure to use this promo code right here. But you can also find detangling brushes in stores. So just go ahead and use the detangling brush in the same pattern that you would brush your hair. Now that I finished with the detangling brush, I'm actually gonna rinse my hair out. This is gonna help me get out all of that dirt. And hold tight because after we finish rinsing out our hair, we're actually gonna add more shampoo in. Getting shampoo in your eyes is one of the worst pains ever. I hate it. Why does that even have to happen? For most of you guys out there, during the first wash, you probably got no lather. I just so happened to get lather on the first wash. Not everybody does. But after rinsing out our hair, we're actually gonna add shampoo for a second time. So now that the shampoo is applied for the second time, it's time to move on to everybody's favorite step. You already know what it is. It's time to brush. Grab your favorite wave brush and it's time to go in. Honestly, while your hair has the shampoo in it, it might not take that long. Give it like five, 10 minutes, you might start seeing waves. But if not, around 20 minutes is good. If you don't see waves by 20 minutes, you might be getting a sign. But Hold on, just trust the process.
So before I put the do-rag on, I actually wanna take a second to show you guys what my waves look like right now. Okay, so look at what my hair looked like at the beginning of the video. And now look at what my waves look like. Can you see the difference? This is in a matter of minutes, guys. Afro to waves. So now it's time to put on the do-rag. These next few steps get a lot of people. So many people I feel like get this step wrong, this step and the last step. And that's to put on the do-rag with the shampoo still in your hair. Do not rinse out the shampoo first. Keep the shampoo in your hair and then put the do-rag on. Cool, you got that step? I'ma just take a moment to let me finish putting on the do-rag. Okay, cool. So once the do-rag is on your hair, this is the most important step or one of the most important steps. When you rinse out the shampoo for this final time, you should be rinsing it out through the fabric of the do-rag. So the do-rag is on your hair and you're just letting the water pass through the do-rag. This is the most important step. Keep the do-rag on until your hair is completely dry. Most people take it off way too early. Even when you touch your head like this, the do-rag might feel dry, but your hair underneath could still be wet. Just give it a little bit extra time. And so now that my hair is completely dry, I'm gonna show you what you do after this method. Let me just take off my do-rag so I can show you the results. So around all the edges, on the back, on the sides, and even on the front where the hairline is, you can see that the way that I tied my do-rag, it caused the hair to ride up a bit. All you gotta do is get a brush and brush it back down. I personally think this side looks a little bit better, but I still got some work to do. 